Boot edge edge. Boot edge edge. Boot edge edge. With a looming third quarter fundraising deadline just one day away, Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg stopped in California's capital to gather more support. California's importance is not just as a place for fundraising. This year, California is an early state. The voters of California are absolutely vital, so it's why we've been here often. We'll continue to be here. The openly gay Navy veteran and mayor of South Bend, Indiana, is hoping to beat out a number of Democratic contenders like Vice President Joe Biden and Senator. Elizabeth Warren for a seat in the White House come 2020. What kind of country do we want to be? And the answer to that question points us toward what kind of president do we want to have? His visit comes just days after an impeachment inquiry was launched against President Trump. We asked what he thought about that. I think that Congress is doing its constitutional job uh, to hold uh, accountable this president who has confessed on national television to high crimes. Uh, so of course there's got to be accountability for that. And we shouldn't be afraid of the politics because uh, uh, if you get the, uh, the, the moral dimension of things right, the politics ought to catch up. We definitely need change. I feel like the nation is so divided and I feel I feel like one of Mayor Pete's, like one of the things on his agenda is to really bring the nation together and bring awareness to problems that really affect the majority of people. Hundreds of people from all over Northern California came to hear what he had to say and show their early support. I love his energy, um, his authenticity. Uh, he's really smart and I feel like he just brings a kind of a fresh perspective and he's, um, you know, and he represents a kind of a younger demographic, I think that's important for us to have your voice. Thank you. Thank you, and I will see you on the trail. Mayor Buttigieg heading to the Bay Area next with one final message for voters. Our basic message to Americans is that we have a chance to be bold enough to meet these issues that we have in front of us and unify the American people. We don't. Being bold doesn't have to be my way or the highway. Being unifying doesn't have to mean softening up our values. We can do all of that at once.